live Monday tee off. No one's watching as usual, which is okay. Which is okay. What do we got here? Um, hopefully everybody's had a uh, a great Monday and uh, doing whatever they're doing. Um, hopefully work was good. Whatever. But anyway, I'm gonna have a quick little chat uh, about what was and then what is and uh, what's coming up basically. So. What we did have was just Boona. Uh, we you hopefully saw that we had the four four of us. We had myself, Richo, we had Shano, and we had Wade and Aiden. Now that was a bee going past. Um, that was a pretty tough old day, you know. That was um, 38, you know, plus degrees, you know, 40 odd degree day. <sighs> warm, very very warm. So um, it was it was a tough it was a tough old slog. And then of course late or in the Arvo you could see that there was a big thunderstorm which which hasn't happened for quite a while which is which is good to see. So um Boona was great. Boona great little nine holes. It's very very hard to go past Boona. Um, if you haven't been out there get out there especially with the weather. So that was pretty much the start of the weather. The, the weather went nuts. For then it was like a hurricane as you saw on the 17th hole and then <coughs> pardon me. Uh, and then thereafter we've had a whole lot of rain there, hundreds of mil uh, many many inches um, sort of thereafter so it was, we've had a lot of rain. Buddha's had plenty, it'll be looking greener, everywhere's looking greener and um, yeah it's we're gonna start to get out to more country places again because of course after the weather everywhere is gonna be looking good so we've got sort of we'll sorry, Gatton, maybe do Ipswich again, Sandy Gallup, uh, Helens Vale which we haven't done yet but once everybody can get on top of all these things and make the courses look good, as good as they possibly can. Coralvin as well. So we're definitely going to get back to some more country tracks. Um, look, I can see six people watching. Uh, let's get some more thumbs up. But is it is the comments working this time? Because last time it wasn't. I I allowed the comments to work this time. With all the changes, it's all it's all happening. Um, but what has everybody been up to? I know uh, Patrick Patrick Reed just won World Golf Championship. Uh, in Mexico, which to some people's disgust, it was sort of him or Bryson, and they're both pretty vanilla, really, aren't they? So, uh, the Big Thunder. Uh, mate, hello, Big Thunder, how are you? Uh, yes, so it's working, everything's good for now. <clears throat> but yeah, it was sort of tough to almost see um, Bryson you know, lose, but then so is Patrick Reed, it's almost tough to see him win. Uh, but Victor, Oh, Victor, that, that was a great win. Victor Hovland, that's, he's probably going to be one of the next big things, hopefully. He uh, seems like a good sort of dude. Go check him out on Harry Flowers' video. And um, and then even the stuff he done with Beef on the European tour. Uh, was it like the club out of a hat? Really, really good fun. Really good fun. Uh, this is a test to see if the comments work. Matt O. Thank you, Matt O. It does work. Old Man Golf. Sorry, mate. What do we got here? First lesson uh, in 20 years yesterday at Vic Park. Had a great time. Who did you have a lesson with, mate? Was um, I saw Muzz today. I saw Darren today. And speaking of today, uh, like a couple of hours ago, an hour ago, I was out at Victoria Park Golf Complex just by myself and uh, done a solo vlog for myself. So that was interesting. Ryan Fowler, Chucky Fowler. Ryan's a good fella. So say good day to him next time you see him for me. Uh, Big JD, hello mate. Um, today I hit the sim. Saw you at Victor Park. Simon Wells, you should have said g'day to me, Simon. Should have come along. Should have got you on the video. But um, I was out there very quickly. It was um, a very very quick round, as it usually is by myself. I didn't. I almost didn't see anybody. It was a reasonably quiet day at Vic Park, but it, I had almost the course to myself and just ripped around on the tee. Which which tee, Simon? Which tee? Hopefully it wasn't the one that I flared drive away right. <laughs> but I need to thank Lynchy, so because Lynchy let me out there and it was really, really good. But um, I borrowed the sim driver from out there because I don't have my own just yet. I hit it maybe three times on the par five, short par four, and on a par four coming up the hill. And I hit it good. So after I've done some testing at work, and that could be the direction I'm heading in, um, could be very tough to go past that. I mean, I haven't hit the Maverick enough, but I reckon the Sim is pretty hard to go past. So, I, I, I sorry, I lie. Tap one on four. Uh, just left of the driving range, par three, up the hill. 
Uh, so the 10th hole. Might be the 10th hole. 13 people. That's got to be a record. Thumbs up. Give me, give me a thumbs up. The band. But anyway, good. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Simon. Just, yeah, should come and say good day. Any, anytime you see us, me, Richo, any of us out, just come and say good day. Just come and say good day. Um, the band. What do we got, the band? Uh, how are you? I'm well, mate. Um, I'm in Malaysia on a golfing holiday. Where are you playing, mate? I've heard a lot of the tracks in Malaysia are rock solid. Let me know. Um, so yeah, it was just me, solo vlog. As you can hear, I might have a, uh, a little bit of a, um, a nasally voice. A little bit sick. Hopefully it's not my corona. Um, but at the end of the day, whatever. Whatever. But Vic Park was looking pretty damn good. Happy Monday! Ryan Reed. Hopefully you're well, mate. Um, look, Vic Park was good. Uh, the greens look like they had just sort of been cut a little lower because I know in a couple of weeks they've got um, Pro-Am. I think it could be just a trainee Pro-Am. Uh, and if not, they've got their full Pro-Am as well. So, as I said in the video, as, as I said filming today, hopefully this isn't the last time we film there. Hopefully we get at least out one more time before it shuts down. But hopefully we get you know, a gathering there. Maybe we can get a, uh, you know, a, a get-together there. It might be good. So I, I'm not going to lock anything in because every time I've tried to lock anything in, it's never worked that way. But it's very difficult at the moment because we've got a decent amount of rain around and the only sort of days we can film is sort of Mondays. It's hard. It's really, really hard. So pretty much that's the story. Burner's brilliant. Get to Burner. It's, it, yeah, Joey and Joey and the staff are doing a brilliant job. So get out to Burner, especially after the rain. And Vic Park, almost almost impossible to, to go past Vic Park, especially with the views, short course. It's a course I struggle with because it's not very long and sort of the shots I hit are into that sort of below 100 metre mark. And so that's where it's a bit of good fun for me. It's a bit of good fun for me. Uh, well, what have we got here? Sorry. Sort this chair out. What do we got? Some questions. Uh, Greg C, you versus Richo, off scratch, you with seven clubs only, Rick Shields style. Well, I did hit a stinger. I hit a stinger today, and I, and I did make fun of the accent a little bit. Even though I shouldn't, because we all have our own accents, so it's all good. It's a bit of, bit of good fun. Uh, good morning from snowy Newcastle in the UK. G'day, Geordie. How are you, mate? Um, hopefully it's not too cold. Hopefully it's starting to warm up. What are we? Middle of we're, we're February, end of Feb. So we're getting out of summer, so you guys are getting out of winter. Well, hopefully it warms up quick and you can get out and play some golf. Uh, Deban, uh, in Kuala Lumpur, few country clubs, very solid course in Malaysia. I think there's brilliant golf courses everywhere. Brilliant golf courses everywhere. So anytime you can play golf, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. Joy, look. And on a more sombre note, um, I don't know if Jules is watching. Um, you know who you are, Jules. Uh, and this goes for anybody as well, just quietly. So Jules had issues with family uh, and partner. And look, all of our thoughts go out to you, Julian, um, and your family. Richo and I have spoken to you in, 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 in private, so you know our thoughts. Mate, anything you need, contact us, whether it be on Facebook, whether it be on Messenger. Whether it be via email, Skype, whatever it is, just just contact us anytime you're in need, anytime you want to have a chat, anytime you just want to, anytime you want anything, mate, just let us know. And like I said, that goes for anybody on the other side of the camera. If, if you want to contact us, either do it via email, do it via Facebook, per our personal pages, the Facebook page, the Aussie Golf Reviewer. Either way, yeah, look, everybody goes through shit and um, life's never that easy. Uh, people are always struggling a little bit with something and um, especially loss of family members it's never a, uh, an easy thing so Julian we're looking out for you love you mate and everybody else who's going through some shit contact us if you need a chat so we're here um, cool I'm gonna go sorry yeah I'm gonna go grab a drink of water I'll be right back I want to see some questions I want to see some questions um, mm, 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 mm. beautiful we'll leave it on that one the band's asking a question we'll go from there I'm going to grab a drink so all you're going to see in the background is nothing um, nothing cool I'll be back in about two minutes a minute a minute even <clears throat> Oh. 
Uh, all right. My favourite drinking cup. Beautiful. Uh, all right, yeah, I'm a bit under the weather. Um, in, in more ways than one. So people that know, at work, I was moving some stuff and I smacked, oh, I was moving some stuff and something malfunctioned. Anyway, smacked my mouth and teeth with uh, the shop fitting and smashed the tooth. So you can't, I got it fixed today. Can't really see, but it's sort of sheared away at the back. And you can sort of see my lip there. Squished it, anyway. Life's good, I'm okay. I'm all, I'm all good. It's not the end of the world. So Deban says, playing, testing the tour exotic range, the bladed irons, wedges, hybrids, and fairway woods are top notch. Yet to test the driver. Now, the tour exotic stuff uh, is very good. It's always been very good. I think some of the fairway woods and hybrids have probably been up the top uh, from a technology standpoint for a long time. They're not super priced. They're not crazy priced anyway. Um, maybe over here they could be because you know, Dennis Brosnan has it and it's golf world. But you know, at the end of the day, tour exotic stuff's really good. Uh, we've tested them years and years and years ago. We've done, I think, the E8 titanium stuff. Fairway woods and hybrids. Oh, they go miles. So I had one for a little bit with a, um, a 6.7.2 Matore Speeder to a spec shaft in it. Pretty good. Yeah, didn't get along with it very well, but I haven't gotten along with uh, with a fairway wood for a long time. So, and speaking of that, like I said, the Sim, I mucked around the Sim, 9 degree Sim head, Tensei White Pro 70TX, one notch higher, and flushed it today. So I missed one of them right, everything else was pure. And ball speed's great, spins really low, it's doing what I wanted to do, it didn't really lose off the planet too much, so it's very, very, very interesting. More testing needed. Uh, Matt O, oh, sporting villains need to win once in a while, it creates interest for the next event, even more. Um, yeah, so that, and Sean O'Reilly sent that as well, about Patrick Reed as well. Um, look, Patrick Reed is a competitor, it's that simple. You know, regardless of what you think about him, he's a great player. Um, maybe he has done the wrong thing a couple of times. Um, it certainly seems like it, so that's not great. But he plays decent golf. Uh, yeah, I suppose at the, at the end of the day, that's on him. If, if he wants to cheat and he wants to carry on the way he does, then bleh, that's up to him. He'll be known as that, as I think BJ Singh's been known for that in the past. Uh, maybe it drops off, maybe it doesn't. I, 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 I don't know. But I certainly know bj has been supposedly caught carrying on a little bit. Prize of spice of life. Any chance of a vlog at the Grand, Greg C. Now, uh, it's probably less likely than anything else. Um, it's probably the least likely. Like we could probably get there. I could probably have a hit. I sort of know somebody and thereabouts that could get us on. It's just the filming part could be an interesting one. I think RQ is more of a chance. So RQ just had the Aussie amateur. Uh, I think we've got more of a chance because we've got Aussie PGA this year as well. And I think there's a bit of a changing of the guard and there's a potential that we could do something. So we just need to, you know, keep on top of it and maybe go from there. Just as like Marucci River, contacted them. We're waiting to hear back from them. So if you remember uh, Marucci River, be more than happy if you sort of put name forward. We're just waiting to sort of hear from them if we can get up there. So the answer is yes. It's just we need to organize a time on a Monday. So 17 people watching. Thumbs up. Everybody thumbs up would be fantastic. Share it if you will. Hi Alan from NATO Smith. Uh, did you find out more today regarding developments? Um, no, I, I spoke to Lynchy just a little bit, but um, it had nothing to do with development because I don't know. Look, it, it seems like it's going to go ahead. Uh, the council has put something up saying what they, what's going to happen. I might try to leave a link in the description below after I finish doing this. I might try to find it. I thought I saw something pop up of what's going to happen, but yeah, it's it, it's not staying a golf course by the looks of it. Homeless pods, I think that's what it is. Pods for the homeless. Um, you know, for everybody there, soup kitchen. You know, look after everybody. I don't know. There, there's been a whole lot of stuff being said, and who knows? The band. Do you do fittings on Wednesdays? Uh, generally, the band. No, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays. Uh, the times, mate. So if that works for you, let me know. Uh, Jordy, 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 Jordy. What is your best score in competition? Now, what sort of competition in uh, in a pro am? Uh, seven under is my best round in a pro am. Um, 
my best round overall has been eight under. It's been in a comp, but in a club comp, not a not a uh, a prime. So maybe the other way around. Six at six under in a prime and seven under. Sixty three. Yeah. So no, it'll be in a club comp with sixty three, so seven under and six under in in an event. Um, that's my lowest. Um, yeah. Be nice to be lower. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I've, I've had a few somewhere around the 400 marks, but to go low, like for, for me, because I hit the ball okay, but don't putt okay. You know, I putt average. You know, I, I sort of leave them short in the jaws or there or thereabouts. So it's hard. It's hard. But yeah, I, I shot 700 with eight birdies, one birdie. So be nice to be lower. May, maybe I can get back and play primes and, uh, and do better than that. JD, Honma or Mizuno? Leave a comment below, everybody. Honma or Mizuno? Uh, <sighs> Honma, Mizuno, Epon, Titleist, Ping. Every brand's good, mate. You know that. Like, I think the big difference as generally Mizuno uses 10, 25 steel. Uh, a lot of your other Japanese stuff use S20 and S25. It's just a slightly different soft mold steel. I don't know which one's better if there is one better. I don't know what's premium and what's not. Slight different feels. And again, you can have the dampening effect as well, but depends on what you want the clubs for. You know, I think for you, big semi thigh out, I don't... You've got MP20 MMCs. I can probably see the MP18 MMCs being better for you, but the MP20s feel better potentially. I think what you got's great. If you want a new set of clubs, get a new set of clubs, man. Like, if you've got the money, go for it. Like, it's and that's like anybody. If you, if you want to go through clubs, buy clubs. Who cares? Like, no, no one's going to stop you. Having not played in quite a while, this is from Simon Bowles. Having not played in quite a while, which course do you think is great as a welcome back course in Brisbane? Uh, Vic Park's good. You're not really going to lose too many balls. It's, it's a little shorter, you know, and some par fours are quite short, but, you know, they're a long par three, basically. Um, I think Wontima, I think Wontima is probably a nice track as well. It's not overly long. There's a bit of out of bounds here and there, but there's not too much water. It's not too much craziness. Um, yeah, most of the courses in Brisbane are really, really good. None of them are too difficult. But again, what I mean by too difficult is, is there out of bounds, is there bush, is there trees? You know, I think that's where one team is pretty good. You're not going to lose too many balls. There's houses to the left on a, and, and, and out of bounds on the left of some holes. Uh, predominantly to the right of most, though. That's probably the only issue for most people. A little bit of water. Nothing too difficult. Nudgy's pretty good. Yeah, look, I... I don't think any of the courses in Brisbane are too tough, especially since uh, North Lakes has closed down. I think Compara can be a bit tough. There's a bit of scrub either side, and just, you know, it can be a pretty tough, a toughish track, Simon. But at the end of the day, mate, just get back into it. Just get back into it, mate. Ultimate fan comments. Can you say happy birthday to my friend Nick Gurr? He loves your channel. Thanks. Ultimate fan. Um, happy birthday, Nick Gurr. Happy birthday to everybody's birthdays now, tomorrow, this month, and the rest of the year. There you go. My niece's birthday is tomorrow, so there you go. Have you tried the Bolzac clubs yet? Is Bolzac short for Bolzac? I'm not sure. Um, Ultimate fan, let me know. what What's that? I've never heard of Bolzac. Sorry, mate. Um, fill, fill us in. It'll be good. Julian Hughes. There's, there's a big hug for you, mate. There's a massive hug. And everybody, if like you can see Julian in the comments there, everybody give Julian a big hug and condolences. That's pretty much all anybody can do. We're, we're a nice little community here, and if everybody can do the same thing you know, and, and show some love for Julian, that's all we can do from the other side of the planet, basically. So, Julian, keep your head up, mate. If you need to chat, like I said, let us know, mate. Let us know. Uh, uh, Deban, how do you know what loft fits you on driver? Um, it's a it's a hard one to bend because it all depends on how you deliver the club. So th there's a couple of different ways to look at it. Is if you deliver a lot of loft, then you go low loft. Sounds yeah, pretty much what it is. Go low loft. Um, but then it's also a swing thing. So you sort of look at the way that Shane Kelly swings it. Shane can sort of back up a little bit and add loft. So that's why he goes to a really low loft. 
So I've done a thing with him many years ago where I gave him sort of like a 13 or 12 degree driver and he had to keep it down. And he hit it pretty good, but it's sort of hard for him to do that. So his swing floor is sort of backing up, adding loft, and that's why he hits it hot. So it's generally a swing fault thing that causes it, but it all depends on what you, you know, what you do. Also what you like the look of with adjustable drivers. So if you like to look at an open face driver, potentially you can go to a higher loft and then lower it might get the face more open. Potentially you're impacting it too closed. You can do it that way, so open the face, you can slide it all, you know, it all depends. It all depends on the shaft a little bit, uh, how it feels to you. Um, generally something heavier might come out lower, but then if it's heavier, you might have to feel like you have to work harder so you feel like this happens more. Look, there's so many different parameters that can make a golf club do what it does. All right, so that's where it becomes very difficult to just fit based on what you do. But yes, if you add a lot of dynamic loft, then or and potentially hit it, you know, hit up on it a bit, then you can afford to go lower loft. But then, depending on the launch, then it all depends on the spin. And then also, when you get your spin loft down, you also got to watch out that when you get a bit wrong, it's going to carry on more. So it all depends. It all depends. All right. So for me, with the sim, I've gone probably lower loft than I need. Um, just because my miss can be more flary right, of course I can miss left, I can miss it both ways, but I don't mind the look of a square to slightly closed club face, it doesn't stress me out as much as it used to, I'd, I'd rather see open, I'd, I think I'd still rather see open, but I probably miss it more to the right now, I think I get stuck a lot more, sort of gets behind me a little bit more and starts right, doesn't come back basically, it stays right. Oh, 18 people, more thumbs up would be great, thank you. Um, but yeah, good question, you have to come in for a fit. Anybody needs to be fit, whether it's by me or anybody, you need to get on gears, you need to sort of see what the story is. Have you tested the Mizuno ST200? Um, I've hit them, I haven't done a video, Richo and I haven't done a video. Uh, I'm pretty impressive, I've done a fitting with a, with a fella with the ST200X, very lightweight, squared it up easy, hit it 20 meters further than his own. And it was more that we got a little bit more launch out of it and, um, yeah, a little bit more ball speed, not by much. But it was more that he could get it in the air a little easier. And that's the thing, weight is very important. So you can go potentially lighter. This is where it becomes weird. If you go lighter, it might be easier to square up. But if it's lighter, you might feel like you have to hit it. Well, you can hit it harder, which means you might come over the top more. <sighs> There's so many different things. So many different things, but it's always the swing that causes that. We just need the shaft to sort of fix where that club is coming from. All right, have you used the Hari ball yet? Mate, have never heard of it. Mate, talk to me. Talk to me, Ultimate Fan. What is it all? What is all of that? Thoughts on the new holes at Nudgy on Davies. Now, we were set to go out Monday. Just gone last week. Um, we didn't get to because it was raining. As we were meant to do Pelican Waters that day as well because it was raining. So we just had the uh, Queensland Open, which Anthony Quayle, Anthony Quayle just won. Uh, would have been good to get up there, but we're going to get up to Pelican in the next, uh, what are we, three weeks. Um, so we've got Helens Vale, yeah, we've got, we've got a lot of, <laughs> like I said, Gatton, City, hopefully Middle Ridge, um, Pelican, Helens Vale, uh, and we need to do a trip. Like, okay, we need to stop bullshitting, we need to just go do a trip, even if it's down to bloody Byron, because everybody raves about Byron, they've been there, Richo, Richo loves it, so 22 people watching, Jesus, keep going. But the new holes at Nudgy, mate, um, I've heard they're brilliant, i heard they're going to be tough-ish, especially for people with flatter ball flights and not enough speed, that's going to be a tough one. So, <coughs> so I think it's going to be hard for a lot of people to sort of, you know, get it to begin with. So yes, it's gonna be difficult. But hey, that's what you get in the big jobs. Seems like it's gonna be really, really good. Really, really good. Julian, we'll do another Brookwater vlog, mate. And I will come over next year. Julian, you come over, we'll get you to Brookwater. That's done. Uh, Geordie, good score, seven under. Yeah, it'd be nice if it was longer. Can I just do a shaft fitting at Golf Central? Uh, jazz cam, jazz cam, dash cam. Um, it depends on the driver, just because, so let's say Taylor made because the lab's there, we've got a whole lot of shafts for Taylor made, so we can certainly do that. Um, 
for other brands we've only got a few it's not like we have a, a universal adapters to do that that might be something in the future that we might may do may not but yes we can sort of do it depending on the driver let me know <laughs> i'm going to hand it my mobile number if you want to flick us a message give us a call zero four three one two seven six five seven two cool there you go i don't want to see any dick pics um Ryan Reed, Honma Mizuno, Honma, personal field, key though. Correct. And I think that's the big thing. It's really hard because it's it's so personal. It's so personal. I've never tested Honma, so I can't say from Deban. Mizuno is very solid, my personal opinion. From the feedback and the distance point of view, I think compact and forged golf club and shape. Yeah. What irons, woods and putter? Uh well, sorry, what irons, woods and putters do you have? when starting out or have good memories of um probably a set of irons that are fun for me are my rack mbs so i had rack mbs uh that was my first sort of really good set of irons rack mbs they were i wasn't good enough to use them but i had them and they were mint first time i took them out i dinged up my wedge um but they were mint six i think it was six oh uh royal rifles mint they were mint uh i had them stolen in an r7 bag and i think i had an r7 driver yeah they were great but i, I think i'm on a pretty good spot right now with the irons that i got like the irons especially the uh mp20 mmc's they sort of remind me of the mp15s from the back but not quite as thin if they could look like the <coughs> if they could look like the MP15s, I'd that'd be mint. But the MP20 MMCs, they're brilliant. They're I'm super happy with them. Um, driver at the moment seems really really good. Best driver maybe. I think the best driver maybe would have been SLDR. But that's only because I was playing. And maybe even R11 because I went R11 and now uh, SLDR. But they they're probably the best drivers because that's when I was playing the most. That's when I was hitting them the best, I used to drive the ball into, you know, two lane, two lane um, traffic. It was, you know, I used to be able to hit driver really good. So that's probably where I got fond memories of. Putter, I've had a couple of bladed Scotty Camerons. Uh, probably again when I was playing 2012, I had a black Newport 2 um, where I customed it. It's probably on the channel somewhere. I think, no, I don't have that. It would have been a, uh, oh, the one after that one, put green and gold put some colors on it it was, it was really really good comment down below or, or put in the comments um what everybody's favorite you know clubs were as well that's a great question for everybody um favorite young australian golfer at the moment minwoo has to be minwoo just rock solid i met him as a kid as a younger fella sorry you know not so much a kid just good good kid <clears throat> flushes it what a great swing but there's so many good Aussie talent coming around. Carl Phillips as well. <clears throat> <coughs> Carl Phillips. Another, yeah, great kid. Great kid. Uh, what do we got here? The ultimate band, Harry Balsack. Sorry. Harry Balsack. Uh, Balsack. Uh, released a new driver line. Get your hands on it. Uh, pretty sweet, but if you the grip on both hands you'll come out on top well done um geordie i lost my wife on the 16th last year from breast cancer i'm still struggling drop me a message if you can geordie newcastle and ipswich mate look again guys contact us if there's any issues if you're struggling if whatever it is just give us a call or contact anybody on here i'm sure anybody is more more than willing uh, Darren Roberts, good have you played King Island? If so, worth the plane trip. No, I've played Bone Boogle with Kieran, uh, which was brilliant. Um, by the sounds of it, pardon me, it's as good or better. So we contacted the guys down there and we'll get down there and we can film. So we just need to make the plane trip. Richo would froth over it. Like, it mightn't be great scores, but it would be a very good vlog. Any advice on putting drills to do regularly? Just think about it, Ryan Reed. Um, just think about it. Um, gate drill. Put something either side of your putter like that. Try to get your putter to go through it. 
That's a nice one. Yeah, that's a, that's a hard one. That's a hard one not to go past. Chris Broadbent. Do Byron, mate. I've heard it's very good. Um, uh, Damien and, and uh, uh, Ryan, 888. It's a must do. Bash straight and how many? Yep, they're talking about it. It's great. Any thoughts about length of driver? Cut my ping driver down to 44 inches and hitting it better. With no distance loss. See, that's a hard one because shaft length, again, it's, it comes out of strike. I generally think most drivers are too long. Um, standard for most companies are 45 and a half. Uh, most of the Japanese brand and tightness are 45. Ping on their stock standard stuff are 45 and three quarters. But they're counterbalanced, so they're sort of getting that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Look, at the end of the day, it's what works. But I, I think sh a little short is not too bad. As long as you can keep head weight up. Because as you go shorter, you lose swing weight. Let's say you were to knock off. Let's say you would knock off an inch from 45 and a half to 44 and a half. It's about six swing weights. That's going to feel pretty light, especially for something from D2 ish. It's going to go down to sort of C9, 6, something like that. So it's, that's very, very light. That's very, very light. So um, if you can add a little bit of weight, then it's the way to go. Um, the boys are going through there. Are you playing? Uh, uh, David Miller, are you and Steve playing in the trainee prime at Victoria Park on Monday the 9th? Uh, I haven't booked in. Uh, maybe we'll get invited. Uh, we could. You never know. But get there. So there you go. Um, David reminded me because I, I knew it was coming up soonish. I just didn't know when. So the um, trainee PGA Prime is on the 9th, or Monday the 9th. Support. Support the guys at Vic Park. It's the last one. Ripping, ripping to it, guys. Um, the boys are loving it. Great chat. See, guys, good. Chat amongst yourselves. Get get into it. Like, like at the end of the day, people, because I've, I've never been to um, King Island, so I can't tell you. And you've got people there that have. Favorite irons were Brosnan, Tour Classics, Wonder Sandwich. Driver is probably 917, eBay Special. But look, <clears throat> at the end of the day, your gum trees, your trading posts, and all that sort of stuff, you don't need to spend stupid amounts of dollars to have a good golf club. At the end of the day, get the golf clubs. Play golf. It's better than not. And if it costs you 200 bucks for a full set, go for it. Sorry, just tuned in. Daniel, Daniel C, don't do it, mate. Oh, there you go. Matty Curley's just come back. Um, or he's just about to go. Matty Curley loves it. Do it. There is drone footage of both courses, mate. I'll be there. We will be there at some stage. David Lee, must be due to Richo's rant soon. Mate, we are due for a lot. Like, us getting together is kind of hard <laughs> lately. Um, it's been very difficult, but at the end of the day, we've got more things to do. We need to do more podcasts. I'm contemplating buying some podcast gear, but I've got a little bit of money sort of set aside for a trip, so that money then just dis You know what I mean? I, I, I think a trip's more important. Comment below. Is a trip more important where we can do maybe three or four vlogs or get podcast gear or audio visual gear, uh, audio gear basically for mics and whatever else? Up to you guys. Uh, but yes, definitely time for Richo's rant. <clears throat> Damien, it's unbelievable. True links. Yes, Ryan. Down at Barn Boogle, down at um, Lost Farm, down at uh, King Island. Mint. Mint, 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 mint. Matty Curley, going soon. Going soon, we'll enjoy Matty Curley. Um, what do we got? Have you played Sanctuary Cove recently? Uh, they've just redone the greens, and the course I'm look is looking awesome. Played there on Sunday, it was great. Now, that's something we've got to get back to. I've got a friend, uh, Kurt, Kurt Thompson, um, who is Kurt's Instagram um, on, on Instagram. Check him out, photographer, does a lot for the Australian PGA. Uh, good guy, does a bit, bit for Taylor, mate. Mate, really good guy. We'll get him out there. So we'll try to do the palms again with him. And maybe we'll try to get the pines, but you know, being a member's course, maybe they'll let us. But we always seek, we always seek a yes or no. Even though we could probably go do it, we don't want to stand on anybody's toes, basically. Um, if you could do, uh, if you could, Richo, one drill to help his swing. What is it? Daniel, look, it's hard because what would Richo's swing be? Well, practice to start with. I think 
practice is a huge thing. He doesn't get the practice. He plays as little as I do. Um, I wouldn't really talk about too much about the length of his swing. I don't think it's anything to stress about too much. It's probably just more what he does from the top of his swing. It's sort of hard. It's hard because he wants to hit it. He pulls on it. That's what most people do. You pull on it. As soon as you pull on that thing, the club wants to stand up. And then it starts going left. Or generally goes left. Handle goes high. It's hard. It's very, very, very difficult. Family's home. Family is home. Um, what gear do you need? I probably have some left over here. Simon Wells. Now, look, Simon. I was looking at a Zoom H6. Um, that's what I was looking at as a recording device, potentially, that could sync up to the camera. Microphones aren't too bad. We can get some condenser mics or whatever. Like, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Now, XLR import recorder straight to the uh, the memory card and then just sync it up with the camera. Um, that's pretty much what I was looking at doing because I'd like to have a second camera or three cameras, something like that. But I'd also like Richo and I across from each other as well. So just to have one camera face on like this, I don't sort of like, especially if we're talking to each other because there's so many things that we could talk about and it's probably not great to talk about Maybe you should do a second channel. I, I, I don't know, because some stuff that we might want to say might get us kicked off or demonetized or whatever. Because there's a lot of shit in this world that we like to talk about and we talk to each other in private. So, um, so yeah, so let us know. Oh, head, oh don't, don't bring that in here just in case Matilda sees it, eh? Oh, no. <laughs> but, um, but guys, look, we're nearly four minutes in, uh, 40 minutes in. Um, if there's any more questions, let us know. Simon, you can contact us via Facebook or uh, even even in the comments. Be more than happy if you have something as an alternative. Be more than happy. Uh, do you think Tiger Wood? Sorry, uh, Damien. Do I think Tiger Wood what? <laughs> Tiger Wood what? Yeah, Simon. Just keep us posted. Uh, but like I said, it's it's, it's going to be about three fifty four hundred bucks for a used one. I've been looking at. Um, and like I said, Kurt Thompson is um, sort of all over um, the audio visual stuff. He said the Zoom stuff would be brilliant. So yeah, I might do it or something along those lines. Thank you, Simon. Thank you very much. But everybody, um, just give the love in the comments below in the chat here. I'll sort of try to keep, was it? Do you think Tiger Woods swing is the best he's ever had? Right now, I think his swing is very close to the best. I think maybe 2000 Tiger and this Tiger are on a similar level, so it's going to be interesting. The only thing is the body's a bit older. So I I hope Tiger, I hope Tiger wins the two majors this year and just, yeah, mate, Tiger, Tiger me, mate. Um, but yeah, comment below, give Julian a, um, a, uh, a bit of love, give hugs, give the love to Julian after his wife's passing, so guys, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Big part coming up. Yeah, it looks amazing, Damien. Yeah, it's brilliant. A massive, massive thing. But yeah, give love to um, to Julian. Love you, mate. You look after yourself. Uh, send us an email. Send us a message. Whatever you want to do, guys. Comment below or in the um, in the chat. Throw your love to Julian. And next up, Big Park. We'll see you there. Just me for a solo vlog, and we'll go from there. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. What do we have? Last question. The different swings on the on winning on tour is there more the messy eye of the swing a perfect swing doesn't mean a perfect golf score there you go that's my profoundness for the night uh, at the end of the day get it done you can have a swing like richer and shoot 10 under there you go guys thank you very much we'll see you next time keep the comments rolling i'll try to keep this chat going for you know during the video in replay and just leave some comments below. Cheers, guys. See you next time.